Alright, one, it's X Yoga. Today I'm going to show you my garden in a better way. I got some snow peas. Pretty nice. Oh, that feels really nice, actually. Let me um, fix this up while I'm here. I like to just put one over, then this one over this, I would think. That seems good. Some like little mini pea. That's nice. I got some peas down here. This is a piece of a broccoli or cauliflower plant I kind of took out and put in here. I'm sure that'll be good. I got some peas still. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Could be cilantro or something. Could possibly be. I might fill it up with some other herbs. This is some broccoli or cauliflower. Cauliflower. Just put some in there for right now. This is a bit of green onions and whatever may else be in here. This is empty. This might be for the the ground cherries. I'll try. This is a bunch of flower seeds and maybe some dill. And a nasturtium. Nasturtium. Hopefully I can use it to bring some bees around. I have an artichoke seed in here. I believe that's right there. Hopefully I can get more, but I'll probably put some other stuff in here. I'm not sure what right now, but... Huh. Maybe I'll try the asparagus seeds again that I got from Lowe's. Well, what is that now? I just have this open so that way the squirrels don't get through and mess up a lot of things. Now, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's maybe a pepper. Maybe so. Got some green onions or some shallots. It could be some another um, fennel perfection. It's called. Well, its name is called. I'm going to use it for the fennel bulb and eat that. See how that is? There's a red curry squash seed in here. Two of them. So I found another one, just put that in. Found a little bit of one that was sprouted, so I left that in there in the box over that way. This should be nice. Some broccoli, some I believe that's broccoli also, or cauliflower. And some chive seeds that are in here, but they didn't seem to grow. I believe that's also a fennel. That's a nasturtium. Probably a flower seed, I'm not exactly sure. There are some poppies in here somewhere. Thought that was a piece of a fungus. This is a milkweed, like I've said before. Use it so I can bring butterflies around. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want this to bring butterflies. I don't want this to seed itself over here. But in here, it's quite alright. <sighs> Sorry. I'll probably help that seed some other time. Maybe I'll take it to the park where they have like a lot of um, butterfly flowers so it can put some seeds up in there. <laughs> now I sound like wrapper up in there. <laughs> it's quite nice. I hope it grows more. So it's pretty nice. I might have to tie it together so that way it can stay. I don't like how this has 
the stuff in it. So, sorry, there's something I want to see. But yeah, it's nice. I like that very much. Alright, okay, never mind. Yeah, might have to put some more herbs in here. Put some something that can cover that, like some mint or some oregano. Be nice. I got some rashes in here. Are you kidding me? <sighs> some mayashigi. Daikon rash and brec French breakfast radish. I don't get why it's so heavy. I don't think all the water drained out of it due to the rain that came. So, yeah, hopefully I can drain some of it out, maybe, perhaps. Oh, done. Huh. Alright. Give me this. Sorry. Uh, anyone else know why the peas leaves are getting like this? If anyone knows, can you comment? I don't understand. I think it's maybe the bug. That's a piece of mint for sure. I'm not sure what this is. Probably a weed. So, blue area. It's nothing I grew. And here we have some rutabaga, some radish. Actually, no, um, no radish, but some turnips. I believe that's also carrot, some greens. I don't want them to get too yellow. So, Blue basil has some chamomile in here, some dragon tongue arugula, broccoli or cauliflower, also some cauliflower or broccoli. Some in here I sowed because I kind of got a little bit annoyed that I wasn't growing, so maybe that's too much. Probably thin some out, plant them somewhere else. Um, okay, I grew a lot. Or that could be the escarole in the endive. But yeah, some arugula. That's rocket. Some fennel I might take out of here. So I don't think I'll have room for that. That's also some kind of kale I believe is in here. Some less greens, I want to guess. Some, some Walla Walla onions, some Zabrun shallots in here, some Boratana onion, and some Tokyo Long White onion in here. That's what I've grown. Also sowed some seeds in, here, seeds in here, but I don't see any yet. I did put some onions in here. Oh no, um, not onions, but I did put some lettuce in here. Let me get that. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh okay. Oh, never mind. That's nice. I hope I get a rutabaga. That would be nice. Might have some, have to sew some lettuce in here. A little bit afternoon, that way I have some. And these three ones I have a corn. I believe that's over here. 
I have a tomato, two black tomato seeds, and two romas. One from, two of them are from Baker Creek, two of them are from Burpee. And a Asian pear seed that I put in here. I want to see if it grows. Hopefully. Got a sunflower. A little bit droopy due to rain. And a squirrel. Oh, goody. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Have a plumeria, but I took out the bottom because it was like hollow. So hopefully that grows better. Better. Need that rock. Sorry. Sunflower with some seeds in there. Has some extra sunflower coming up. This is dry. <laughs> I need to get this. Got some mint, some chocolate mint, some regular mint. Hopefully that comes up. Got a curry plant I kind of cut back so I can have it grow more. Got a pepper plant. I don't know which one this is. Kind of like the cayenne-ish kind. I sowed some pepper in here, but hopefully it grows. I don't know when. These must be the holy basil. This must be. Hopefully. I, hopefully I'm right. Got some. Got like a little patch of oregano right here. Some basil coming up. That's not good. I believe this is a pepper. And some moss curled parsley. That's really good. You remember those eggplants I took out in the side of the house? They're right here with some cilantro. Might put some more over there. Some upland cress. And yeah, have some stuff. I don't get what all the dirt is right here. Have some lemon thyme. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This could be purslane. Or this could be this for all I know. The upland crest. I believe this. I'm not sure what this is also. This could be a corn. I got some. Oh wait, no, sorry. That could be a carrot. Yeah, like these carrots. Also a fennel that I had down there. So I moved them up here. Got some. Yeah, got some carrots up here. A broccoli or cauliflower? Darn. Yeah, got some of that. Made a trellis up here so I can have stuff grow. Because I got a right there. I have a red curry squash. Don't want that sprouted. Waiting for a. Darn. I don't know the name of it, the brand. No, I know it's from Burpee, but I don't know the brand name of it. I believe I got some cabbages. I sowed some lettuce in between. Some. Waiting for some lettuce. I also sowed some loose leaf. Like, thank you, Miss Clean Variety from Burpee. Oh, two cucumbers on the side, but I'm waiting for them. Seeds didn't germinate yet. Also got a bok choy hiding in there. Maybe it's young leaves. I have one now. A broccoli or cauliflower that I pulled out and it was fine so I put it in here. Some of them are popping up. No. No. 
Hmm. No Pepino yet. That's also a name I call it. These little wood things are from a moringa seed pot I found. Thought about um, growing in here. I got some little bit of a dry dirt. So I probably will water it. This is everything I'm growing in my garden for the time being. Hopefully I get some squash. And I can see what happened with that zucchini seed. Um, this is actually all good sign off.